Just in the last hour, new information about two people charged in the shooting of a Maryland Heights police officer. Good afternoon, I'm Courtney Bryant to in for Claire Kellett. The officer was shot in the leg but is now out of the hospital. It happened just before 4 a.m. at the Bennington Place Apartments, just off 270 and Page. News Force Ray Preston is live at the Maryland Heights Police Department with that new information. Well, just within the past hour or so, we did get the names and the mug shots on these two suspects. First, we have 17 year old Menuis Ellis. He is from Pine Lawn. He is said to be the shooter. His bond is set at $1 million. The other suspect, Davina Parker, 26 years old from Jennings. She was said to be driving the car that the two were in. Now, the two were arrested at the scene. The shooting was just before 4 o'clock this morning. Officers were on patrol in the Bennington Place apartment complex, specifically looking for suspects since police say they have had a rash of car break-ins recently in Maryland Heights. Now, we're told they caught Ellis breaking into a car. They identified themselves as police. And they say Ellis opened fire. Now, we have been speaking with those who live nearby this afternoon. One woman says she was shocked by word of the shooting. She says, you know, there are just too many people carrying guns. Well, that goes with the, the, uh, the whole premise of being, having firearms being legalized. They're just all over the place now. And you think you can move to a nice neighborhood and avoid some of those crime reading like things. And now here it's coming over to the nicer neighborhoods. Now, the officer who was wounded is 38 years old. We're told he and his partner were in plain clothes in an unmarked vehicle at the time of the shooting. Now, we're told the wounded officer's partner did return fire, but no one was hit in that exchange of gunfire. Now, one neighbor told News 4 that she heard anywhere from 7 to 10 shots being fired. Reporting live from Maryland Heights, Ray Preston, News 4. One lane 